morning, this is Marcus Brown bringing you today's market update. We start with Brexit news where it has been reported that EU firms have expressed their desire to have access to the UK markets. The CPI will suggest today that the government focuses on six high level principles in the run up to Brexit talks. One of which includes keeping trade between the UK and the EU member states without restrictive barriers. The UK financial services sector employs 1.1 million people and the CBI has also noted that both the EU and the UK would stand to benefit from a temporary transitional arrangement. European firms push to maintain their business relationship with Britain comes as a welcome boost for Prime Minister Theresa May who needs as much ammunition as possible when heading into Brexit negotiations. In other news, the London Stock Exchange Group has entered into exclusive discussions with rival Euronext over the sale of its French clearing business. The deal is seen as a crucial fragment for the success of the London Stock Exchange's future mega merger with Deutsche Börse. LCHSA has been valued at between 400 to 600 million euros. Airport staff have called off their strikes scheduled for the 23rd and 24th of December. 1,500 workers at Swiss port, including baggage handlers, cargo crew and check-in staff, were set for a 48-hour walkout on Friday in a row over pay. Twitter has announced that two of its executives will leave the company, adding to an ever-increasing number of executive departures throughout this year. Adam Messenger, Twitter's chief technology officer, announced his resignation on the social platform, coupled with the statement by Vice President of Products Josh McFarlane that he would also be heading out the door next year. The news comes as six senior executives have left the struggling San Francisco-based company. In corporate news, Coca-Cola has purchased a 54.5% stake in AB InBev's Africa unit for $3.15 billion. Megit has sold its Megit Target Systems to Quiditic Group for £57.5 million. In upcoming data, 4.30 sees US crude oil inventories released. At 10.45pm, New Zealand GDP figures are also revealed. Thank you for listening.